Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Fiber Fun with Olivia. If you are new here, and most of you probably are because this is a brand new channel, a hearty welcome to you. And if you are returning from my other prior channel, welcome back and thank you for subscribing to this channel, it means so much. Okay, so today we are going to talk about my May Yarnier subscription box. If you don't know, I love my Yarnier subscription box. It is a little bit pricier at $35 per month, but I just, I enjoy it so much. It is curated by Vicki Howell. She is the owner of Yarnier.com. She used to have a show, um, a knitting show. She used to design and she still designs, but she used to have a lot of designs on Crochet Today magazine. I don't know if you, any of you were subscribers back in the day. Vicki Howell makes this subscription box so fun. She always has new techniques to try. She curates, the boxes in a way where she is working with smaller businesses owned by women usually I think 99% of the time if not 100% of the time she supports small businesses and or women um, and also she chooses different yarns all the time now we don't get like a couple of hanks of the yarn it's it's a yarn taste it's a yarn taste for us to try but lately we've been getting full hanks so let's see what's going to happen this month here is my box her signature color is teal so her boxes are teal and this is what it looks like now i have seen her video because she does a video every third of the month to reveal her boxes but honestly i forgot already uh, <laughs> what it was so i'm kind of excited okay so this is what it looks like oh i just remembered i just remembered okay let me show you this is let me set this over here so it comes with a little booklet and it usually has a pattern for the yarn that is in our box and usually she has a crochet pattern and a knitting pattern sometimes they're designed by her sometimes they're not this time i believe there will be a third pattern and it will be in tunisian crochet if i remember correctly so um, let me just show you the pictures of the patterns I don't, my camera's not that great, you guys, but that is the knit pattern. There's another little picture of the knit pattern here. That looks pretty. Yeah, that definitely looks like, I'm, I'm, I consider myself a newer knitter, even though I've been knitting for about 10 years, I haven't delved in so much. So I'm still trying new techniques let me see what the next picture is so this is a tunisian crochet zippered bag let me see if i <laughs> i'm trying to figure out how to put it here so you can see it i think that's a really cute zippered bag um and then where's the crochet one the crochet oh that was right here i think i skipped over it Is it this one? Where's the picture? I see the pattern. Oh, okay. This is the picture for the crochet. So they're all bags. They're all little zippered bags and you can see them all here. Actually, this is the best picture. So this one is the crochet one. Um, this one is the knit one. And this one is the Tunisian crochet. This looks like a sticker. Yarn, 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 yay! Three cheers for three years of yarn. Yay. Oh yes, because it's their three year anniversary. And then there is this little pom-pom maker and you get to make it in three different sizes. I'm not sure what this is for. I don't think I know. Oh, no, 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 it's not a pom-pom maker. It's a tassel maker, that's what it is. And I've never used a tassel maker, so that'll be interesting. Okay, let's jump in. There's one more goodie in here. I'll show you that goodie at the end. Let's jump into the yarn. So this is what we get this month. Let's look at the first one here. It is by Sweet Georgia. Unapologetic color, craft since 2005. 
It's a superwash DK, 100% superwash merino wool. We get 128 yards. Uh, let's see, hand wash cold lay, uh, yeah, hand wash cold lay flat to dry. Aquaversary. Oh, Aquaversary is the name of the color. So this is a really pretty DK yarn. I'm super excited about this. I think it's because I like fun, colorful yarns. So this one, let's see what this one says. The Real Teal, that's the color. And it is from Woolen Woman Fibers. I don't know if you could see the cute sheep there. That is so adorable. <laughs> okay, and what is it? Oh, the, the yarn information is under the sticker. So I have to take off the sticker. I'm gonna tear it. I don't wanna tear the name of it because it's right on the sticker. I have to tear it though. Okay, the weight is DK. The base is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. We get 123 yards of this one or 50 grams. So I will tell you what, these aren't the softest yarns, but I can see how they'd be great for the little zipper pouches. I'm totally gonna try to make one of those zippered bags. Um, I'm super excited about this one just because it has the teal and some black in there. But the, I was gonna say the recipe, the um, patterns, you combine them both. So I'm excited to do that. And I will link her video down below cause she does a much better job of explaining what her intention was. It, you know, basically her intention was to show us how fun it can be to combine two different yarns that you wouldn't necessarily think would go together, but that they can and they do. So that was kind of her intention. I am excited to try that. And let's look at the last goodie in here. The last goodie, oh, I remember now. I forget what it's called, but it's a bag. It's a washable bag, if I remember correctly, even though it looks like a paper bag, you can put your project in here and it does, look at the bottom, it does stand on its own. I'm kind of really excited about this because on my sofa right now, I have, in fact, it's not on my sofa, I'm about to film it. So let me show you, let me show you. I have my little carton box here. So instead of having a carton box, I think this will look a lot cuter. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, so we got this, we got our yarn, we got our tassel maker, our sticker, and our pattern booklet. Now the question is, which one am I going to do, the knit one or the crochet one? I'm always torn between both of them. I really am, but we'll see. All right, you guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Are any of you subscribed to Yarnier? Um, have you ever considered it? If you have, I will put my referral link down below. I'm not affiliated. It's just a link for you to get a discount um, on your first box, and then it gives me a discount, I think, on my next box or something like that. I'm not really sure. Feel free to go directly, though, to Yarnier.com if you prefer, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to get a little discount, so I will put it down there below. Thank you so much for visiting with me today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!